Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and that usually means celebrating with friends, family, and coworkers. But those times of joy can quickly turn tragic. Joining us now is Lauren Macias Cervantes from TechDot. Lauren, why can things take a turn for the worse? Well, Mark, if people choose to drink and drive, the holiday can end in tragedy. The impact killed my dad and brother instantly. A man, after drinking excessively with his co-workers, ran a stop sign, T-boned my parents' Honda, and destroyed our family. Just like people make plans of where to go, what time to go, and with who, we want them to plan for a safe ride home if they plan to drink. 23% of all traffic crash deaths in Texas during the 2021 holiday season involved drunk driving. Those crashes killed 98 people and seriously injured 236. Well, and as Jennifer has mentioned it time and again, drunk driving crashes are 100% preventable. So how can people do their part? Sure, and we, uh, you know, say it all the time. If you plan on drinking, designate a driver. This means someone who hasn't consumed any alcohol. Choose a sober ride if you've been drinking. That could be a taxi, a rideshare service, a friend, family member, or mass transit. Or you can stay where you're celebrating that night. Now you shared state numbers, but how serious are crashes involving alcohol here in El Paso? Sure, in the El Paso district in 2021, there were 19,000 traffic crashes. That resulted in 126 fatalities and 350 serious injuries. There were 853 DUI alcohol related traffic crashes resulting in 31 deaths and 58 serious injuries. Now, if you just consider the holiday season in the El Paso district, there were 65 DUI alcohol related traffic crashes resulting in three fatalities and three serious injuries. Now, those are all deaths that could have been prevented. Well, the holidays also means some travel and some closures, right, Lauren? Right, so let's plan ahead. We're going to start with Loop 375, that widening project out on the far east side. Loop 375 south from the north loop exit ramp to the Saragossa port of entry will be closed Sunday and Monday starting at 9 p.m. North Loop at America's Avenue will be closed Sunday through Tuesday at 9 p.m. Then on Tuesday, Loop 375 north will close from the Saragossa port of entry to North Loop at 9 p.m. Then we've got the I-10 Connect project. The right lanes on Gateway South from Altura to Trowbridge will be closed Monday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This also means the Pershing on-ramp will be closed. And moving to West El Paso for the I-10 West widening project, there will be occasional lane closures on North Desert between Red Road and Anthony, Texas, and South Desert between Anthony, Texas and Red. This is Monday and Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 4, I-10 East will be down to one lane between Trans Mountain and Artcraft. And as Doppler has told us, we may have some winter weather this weekend, right? Lauren, how's TechStop preparing? Right, and our crews have been pre-treating roadways this week, so check your conditions if you do have to be out. Lauren Macias Cervantes with TechStop, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, and, and stay safe. speaking about weather,